All right, now we're gonna look at expanding two terms. And you get this pretty often in math, physics, a lot of different areas. You have two terms in brackets that have to be multiplied together, expanded, and combined together and simplified as much as possible. And we've looked at some cases where you might have had, say, a three in front of a bracket. Hey, you took the three and multiplied it into everything. Well, we're gonna see this works pretty similar in a way. Another weird thing you might have noticed is there's no equal sign. In this case, all we're doing is expanding. We're not actually solving for anything, so we're okay to just leave the equal sign out, just to demonstrate that. So what do we got? We got one bracket with three x plus two, and in the next bracket, eight x minus five, and we're multiplying these together. We're expanding this out, which really means multiplying them together. So, one thing you might have heard in school is this idea of FOIL, which is this idea of multiply first, outside, inside, last, which is actually going to work. That's really what we're going to do, but that's just a specific case of a more general rule. It only works when you have the two, each thing with two terms. I had a third term, what happens? No. So what do we do? What we're actually doing is taking each term and multiplying them together. So you take everything in the first bracket and multiply it by everything in the second. So this 3x has to be multiplied by the 8x and the 5, and this 2 also has to be multiplied by everything in the second bracket. And if there was a third term, I would take that and multiply it by everything in the second bracket. You could have 50 terms in each bracket, and you just take the first bracket, take the first term, multiply it by all 50 of the second, and then work your way through methodically. That's how you do these. So, what do we got? 3x times 8x. Oh, let's write that out. 3x times 8x. And then 3x times minus 5. Ah, so that's going to mean a minus here. And 3x times 5. Because minus, and we can think there's a plus in front of that. Minus and plus mean minus. Now we do the same thing for 2 that we just did for 3x. 2 times all these terms. 2 times 8x, and we got a plus in front of the 2, so 2 times 8x. And then 2 times minus 5. Ah, well a plus and a minus means a minus. So 2 times 5. Great. Now we actually do the multiplication. 3x times 8x, 24x squared. And we got 3x times 5, 15x. 2 times 8x plus 16x, finally minus 10. Combine the terms we can. What terms can we combine? Only those with the same variable to the same power. So x squared, x can't be combined. x and 10 can't be combined. These two can't be combined. Only these two can, the middle two, because they both have x to the power of 1. So 15 minus 15 plus 16 is actually just 1. Oh, and it's plus 1. So plus x minus 10. And actually, we are finished. We've just expanded and combined all like terms.